I'll let you go through getting the lighting. Thanks, Chris. If you ever see this video, I don't know. Anyways, what's up, guys? I know it's late. And, oh my god, it's my Friday. Thank God. But, uh... I want to get back to what we were talking about with stocks and my history about them. Uh, I forgot where I left off, but I'll just start and you can pick up wherever we left off. Basically, <clears throat> save up a thousand dollars if you can. You see, you'll see advertise. I'll tell you this, you'll see advertisements about buying fractions of shares, but not the entire 1.0. Sorry, the camera just fell, fell apart. 1.0, or 1.0, however it goes. Uh, uh, instead of 0.1 or 0.5 or 0.35 of a share. Cool, that's great, you can get in, but like, you don't have much control, like, I mean, you do have control of your stock, but I feel it's not a safe move uh, unless you have the financial means to be able to do and test things like that. But also I wanna say that you never learn things until you start trying them and if they work or they don't. And that's how I'm telling you these stories right now. I tried some things, they didn't work out. I tried some things and they're starting to work out. So a lot of people's stories in the beginning, if they're like me, a beginner, we don't start out big. We start out small and man, that feeling of wanting that bigness is so strong. It can, for me, for me it can be. And I have to put myself in check and be like, hey, you know, tuck, chill out on that i know that it like that could have been my stock and i had that chance i didn't have a chance because i didn't have enough money and i didn't have the faith in, in the stock market too that's another big gap that you have to get over is having faith in the stock market i feel that's a big one so these are psychological dilemmas that you may encounter you may not encounter i'm just telling you my story um, you also hear from other people, uh, Hey, I just bought a share in this place or Hey, I bought a share in this place. Don't be, uh, I can't think of the right word, but don't just jump into what they're saying and go with it. Do your own research. Google the company see what's going on see how long the company has been running see what their past history has been in the stock market market now there's different apps i use Robinhood. there is ameritrade i believe or e-trade what uh, it's one or the other um and i heard in that one you can go back 10 years Robinhood it only allows you to go back five years of history but I, I think knowing as much history about a stock as you can is to your advantage because it's your money that you're using and you might as well use it the right way and the wise way. Um, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, there's some big things happening at the end of this month if you have been paying, if you have been paying attention to the stocks and the stock market. I'm not going to tell you what the stocks are yet. <clears throat> like I told you in the last video, you got to figure it out. And I'll, after I do my research of other people's blogs on the stock market and beginning that if they mention their stocks, then I might mention mine. But at this point I can't, it's a secret, but I'll give you a little hints. Uh, so, yeah, save up a thousand bucks. Because another thing to jump in my head right now is you want your portfolio to be diverse. 
meaning your portfolio is what stocks you own. That's called your portfolio. And uh, you want it to be diverse, meaning you don't want it to just be all car stocks or all internet stocks or all pharmacy stocks or airplane stocks. You want to be kind of all of those if you can, if you have the money. And then at the same time, you want to make sure that those ones you're choosing are going to benefit you and something's going to happen. And there's a th rule of thumb and a lot of every, most people in the stock market know this. And in the beginning, and I still am, so I'm telling you, I'm not perfect. It says, buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. I, this is so crucial. Do not buy high and sell low. Meaning, gee, my stock's doing really good, or gee, Look at that stock. I just watched it yesterday go from $5 to $10 today. God, I got a better get in on that now. That temp, and sometimes, I don't know. It You can make a move, and maybe you might get lucky and the stock will go up, or the stock might dip. But if you buy in it while it's already on the dip, and you know that it could possibly be a strong stock, then that's an indicator to maybe think about buying a share. It's not a fraction. I'm not a fan of fractions. You might see other people talk about them. I'm not. I'd rather have one share of a stock, not point whatever. That's just whack. I also feel kind of internally, I feel better about myself. I've noticed I feel my self-esteem has risen I can also, uh, you know, I am um, in the business where I kind of forced to overhear people's conversations and I can relate to them or I know what they're talking about. Sometimes it's the news, sometimes it's politics, which I never talk about and I hate. Uh, or it's, uh, I'm a surfer, so it's, I'm not a big football guy, but basically that you become more educated about the world and what's going on literally to date because you have to watch your stock. That's your money. So this is getting to be a long video, but I hope some people watch it, uh, you know, and I hope you get something from it. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow. I'll come up with some things to talk about. And I hope you have a good night. And uh, follow me on Instagram at TuckerMLO. And my blog is called Tuck's Blog. So.